Hi, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Well, today I thought we'd take a look at some mixed media and uh, it's just an interesting way of using texture paste. The texture paste that I like using is from Viva Decor. It's called Relief Papier Paste, Paper Paste. Uh, you'll enjoy this too. It's quite uh, fluid. And I'm going to use just a simple um, spatula. And I want to show you the artwork that we want to try and achieve. So you'll see here, I've used one of our fish stencils. Actually, this one is one of our new design club uh, stencils, the A5. I don't know if you know we've got clubs. You ought to go over to our website and have a look because all the past issues are available. There's a stamp club, a groovy club, a stencil club, and we're even going to start a, a die club here imminently. So have a look, but this is using one of our, our club stencils, they're always new designs. And I want to point out that it doesn't have to be a grungy stencil to get this. You can, you can get the same kind of artwork. Look, this is using one of our Rennie Macintosh-esque uh, kind of art deco stencils. But the idea is, um, it's quite interesting how you do this. And actually it's using the scraps. It's using the bit that you'd normally throw away. So let me show you how, it's real easy but real arty, great for gifts, isn't it? Right, so the first thing I need to do though, because I've got one of my best tops on, is uh, use my, eight, I'm gonna get an apron on, only because I don't wanna flick my best blouse with texture paste. So I'm gonna put one of our aprons on, check it out. Available also from the website, you know. Um, I think it's useful when you're doing mixed media, uh, unpredictable, messy, painty work. It's a good idea because sometimes I get carried away. I'm doing a, a pottery course at the moment and, and honestly, I might as well just strip off and get in the shower after I get covered. And my shoes, why do my shoes get so dirty when I do pottery? Don't know. Anyway, back to what we're doing here. I'll use the stencil. In fact, I'll use the club stencil with the bigger, with the bigger pieces. And what I'm gonna do is I want to put this stencil, let's say, on a canvas board. But that's not actually where this is like part one and what we're looking at is part two because part one needs to dry. So I'm going to get my, my elements ready. I've got a piece of paper, a card, sorry, black card, three G, 300 GSM, that will do the job. Right, so I've got a piece of black card. I've got my relief paste. Everything is swimming here and I've just realised why. Hang on, my glasses on. Oh, that's better. Oh, I love getting old, don't you? Right, okay. So what we're gonna do is tape the stencil, the fish, onto this canvas board. Same as I could tape the Art Deco one. Let's have a look, where's the Art Deco one? Got it here. See that one? There we are. See, I could tape that on there as well. We're gonna go with the fish just to show you the trick. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna take my, I'm using a black mat at the bottom, also not that bright, in case I get it covered. Let me take the black mat out. I'd rather, I'd rather put it on the, on the black card. There we are, another black card. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is just mix up a little bit of this, see if this works. You know, I was talking about the unpredictability. I've talked about this before. It, there's artwork that's really, really predictable. And you know, when you do A, you're gonna get B. And then there's artwork like this, where you do A, you got the theory, but it, the chances of it working the way you expect are pretty um, unpredictable. There you go, that's why we call it that. And what I'm gonna do now is just spread, see how I've just spread it through Go back that way, they are, a little bit at a time. I reckon that'll do. Let's have a look what happens. So I'll pop that in there. We'll turn it round for you. Can you see this all right? Then when I lift this off, actually I'm gonna take this off here. This is where you wish you hadn't used masking tape. Now it worked. Okay. And then we'll lift this off. Right, now that is great, look at that, result. So that needs to dry, and that is for um, plan B. But what I'm looking at is this one. Actually, I'll use the black that we were leaning on. And what I'm gonna do now 
is just pop that over there like so. I need to be faster and then I need to make sure that I don't get covered in it. And then I'm just going to rub the back. See, and the, it's actually, it's the grunge paste or the texture paste that was on the stencil that's going to give us our picture. Should we see if it worked? Totally unpredictable. Sometimes you press too hard and it doesn't work. Sometimes That's quite cool too, it looks like a skeleton. See, everything you look at shows you another possibility. Should we see? Had I turned the stencil around, I love that, you see? Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Do you want to have a look? Check it out. Look, it looks like skeletons. Isn't that super? There we go. See, and then, and then your stencil, that's done now. You're going to put that in water so that you can go again. See, I put that in water, excuse me a minute, and I'll just rub that a little bit. And then if I wanted to, I could go again and again and again. But just if you, if you pop your stencil in water before the grunge paste or the texture paste dries, you'll find it a lot easier to clean it then than when it's dried. Then it's a question of chiseling it off. Right, so we've done that one. I think that went very well considering. And it doesn't look like much until you cut it up. Look, that one doesn't look any different, except it's facing in the opposite direction. Check it out. See, when you cut it out, when it's dry, and you mount it on a, on a canvas board, then that's what you get. Now this one, it's got that lovely dis difference down there. This one is more tatty up the top. So, like I say, completely unpredictable, but you got the theory. Should we try the other one? Let's try this one. We'll give this one a go and see what we come up with this time, shall we? Right, that one's wet, this one's this way. Right, so I need a piece of black paper again. And again, don't forget that what you're actually going for is, is the, the canvas board. That's the primary piece of artwork. What we're doing here is just secondary fun. So we'll take this one. I'm going to go with another canvas because it's, it's Christmas coming up and it's present time and everybody gets a canvas this time of year from me. So what we're going to do now, again, I just want to just keep this in place while I'm working. It's easy to get rid of. You don't want to attach the canvas too thoroughly because by the time you've moved it, you will have shifted all the grunge paste and texture paste. Right, we'll put that one there just in case that one gets messy. Should we go one more time? Yeah? Doesn't take long this, does it? Right, ready? Let's give it a go. Now, this time, because we know what we're doing, maybe we can be a bit more strategic. I think it's always best to go from the bottom of the stencil. So we're going to load our texture paste at the bottom. I'm not too fussed, really, about this. I can wash it off the canvas board as well. I'm more interested in what I'm going to transfer to the, to the black, aren't I? So let's have a look. We'll load our, cam load our cam uh, stencil, and now I'm just going to gently, up we go, up there, See, and I'm aware now of what's actually being left on the stencil, if you get what I mean. So the time before, it, it was a little bit too square, wasn't it? So this time, maybe I'll come in from the top, I'll add a little bit through there, because I would like to make a canvas, but I don't want to have a go. See, I can, I can add a bit of texture now, maybe a bit more up there, look. See, because I know what I'm doing now with the scrap, so I can, can't I, if you know what I mean? But there is a point at which you say, this is unpredictable. I can't really control this. It's out of my hands. So I'm going to lift this off. That came out smashing. So that will work. And I've got all this goodness on here. So that one's for Ron. I'll pop that over there. And then we'll use this one. Right, you ready? So pop that down. I'm going to put it in the middle because that gives me a little bit of leverage with... Um, how big I want my canvas to be when I, when I mount it. And then I can, I'm just going to dust over. Now this is where it's six or one half doesn't need the other. Do you press too hard and run the risk of it squelching? Or do you not press hard enough and run the risk of not seeing anything? And that, my friends, is down to you. I'm not sure. I'll give it my best shot. Should we have a look? See, you can squish it around. Look, see how it moves. Oh, decisions, decisions. What do you think? Do you think I've overcooked it? Let's have a look. And then you lift that up. 
Uh, I could have done with a bit more there. Do you reckon we... No. Once you've done it, you can't put it back. I don't think so. Should we try? Because there's a bit missing there, isn't there? Now I know that's missing. Should we give it a go without getting too much of an echo? Down it goes again, that area there. Let's see if I can breathe some life into it. <laughs> Rather you than me, she says. Okay, we'll give that a go. Kind of, I think so. So there you go, and we'll pop that in the water. We'll have a look. Probably needs a bit more, what do you think? But you get the picture. And then when you cut this back, what's interesting is because I've done it on a large piece of black card, hey, check it out. See, I've got a bit more paste on that one, didn't I? But they're all very arty. There you go. When you cut it back and mount it, they all, they all look good. So that's how it works. That's the theory. And apart from two more Christmas presents, um, and don't say, I don't want that one, because you may just get that one. Um, apart from two Christmas presents, what I've also got is the other. I've got the positive to still sort out, haven't I? Which is very exciting. See, I love this sort of art when I don't know what's going to happen. And you have to accept. It's like Leone always says, you know what? If it doesn't go the way you want it to, that's called art. So there we are. Thank you very, very much for, um, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you want any of the stencils, you want to have a look at, at the wide range of stencils that we've got, then please head over to our website, claritystamp.com. Uh, there are loads of new design club past issues well worth looking at. Don't forget to wash your spatula as well before it gets hard and crunchy. And, uh, and other than that, I blog every day, so do come and join me and uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.